In olden times there was a king who had no sons but only two beautiful daughters. The oldest was named Asontina. Oh, you have beautiful hair. Do you like this color? Yes. Oh, what dress do you want? Do you like this shoes? Yes. And the youngest was Fantagira. The king was always sick and irritable. He stayed in his room all day long. Oh, I feel sick. I have a headache. Doctor, come here. Help me. Doctor, come here. Help me. What can I do for you, dear king? Chairs. A sky blue chair, a black chair, and a red chair. Every morning, Asuntina and Fantagiro went to his father to tell him good morning. Princess dressed in silk went off to the war with Army and Tonino. They came to the cane field. Yeah. What beautiful cans! We could make many pistachs for our spinning from there. Stop, Princess! We are going home. You are talking about women's work. Come back! Tonino and the army went back home. Then Fantagiro went to the king. Dear daddy, let me go with your army. No, thousand times no. You're too young. Please, let me try. Okay, you can go. But if you tell a word about women's work, you have to come back home. I agree, daddy. She dressed as a warrior and went with Tonino and the army to the war. They passed the cane field without a word and soon came to the border. Hey. was a handsome young man. When he saw Fantagiro, he thought 
She was a maiden, rather than a general. Who are you? You are too young to be a general. My father is the king and I am his general. Come with me and we can first talk about this war. Okay. King went to the palace. King ran to his mother. Mama, Mama, come with me. I have a general here, but I think that. Oh, oh beautiful Fantagira, with eyes so black and speech soft and loud. She's a maiden, I know, I know. Let's try another. Take me into the armor. If the general is a girl, arms want to interest her. Okay, Mommy. Oh, Mama, look at him. He is like a man, but... Oh, beautiful Fantagira, with eyes so black and speech so loud. <laughs> She's amazing. I know, I know. Let's try him again. Take him to the garden. If the general is a girl, she will pick a rose. If he, if he is a man, he will choose the yes. The king, mother, and Fantagiro went to the garden. She picked a blossom of jasmine, sniffed it, and then stuck it behind her ear. Did you see the general was like a man? Oh, beautiful Fantagia. With eyes so black and speech soft and loud. She's a maiden. I know, I know. Dear son, we are in love. And why are you to different? If the general cut the bread against his chest, she is a girl. If he cut it in the air, he is a man. Okay. At dinner, the results of this test were not better. Fantagiro cut her bread like a man. Would you like cake? No, thank you. for your bread? Yes. <coughs> oh, Mama, look at him. He is like a man, but... Oh, beautiful Fantagira. With eyes so black and speak soft and loud. She's a maiden. I know, I know. But make the time. You know, I mean the same with you in the food spot in the garden. And the general is a girl, she will not go. Mother, go home and catch.
I'm back tomorrow with a letter. A letter? Why a letter? Yes, letter from my father. What should be there? Dear son, Fantec Girl, I wear it, you'll come home. The next day, they went to the fish pond. The king addressed jumped in and invited Fantagiro to do the same. Fantagiro, Fantagiro, <coughs> come here, please wait a minute. While jumping, I feel something in the air. Nonsense, everything is okay. General Regis. Dear son, I'm very ill, come home. I want to see you before I die. Dear Rich King, I have to go home, but first we should make peace. War is not good for us. I agree. The king agreed with it. The king stayed in the fish pond alone. He still believed Santa Giro was a girl. This letter is from General. You must come and meet King's two daughters, for one is my sister. Mama, Mama, I knew it! The General is a girl! You were right, let's go to visit her.